Evet arkadaşlar şimdi evde kullandığımız su bir anda sıcak duş alırken soğuk su akıyor. Su dengesiz geliyor. Dışarıda bu pompa tak 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 çalışıyor. Onun için ne yapmak gerekiyor? Bu sorunları çözmek için öncelikle bu tankın içindeki suyu boşaltıyoruz ve havayı kontrol ediyoruz. Şu anda su var içinde biz hava bastık. Havayı kontrol ettiğiniz zaman 3'ten düşükse yani bu şu anda 4 ile 2 arasında 3'te bu seviyeden düşükse su boşken içine bu pompayla hava basıyorsunuz. Ve gördüğünüz gibi tık diye çalıştı duydunuz. Şimdi bekliyoruz. Su basıyor. Yükseliyor. Ve durdu. Bu sıklık is good. Wait and full. But if you say tak tık tık working no good. Yeah. Yani şimdi havası iyi demektir. Yukarıdaki barda basınçta gördüğünüz gibi 3 ya da 4 bu aralarda olması yeterlidir. Okay. This is our pressure tank for the building. And you can see this is a pump. This is pounds per square inch pump. And we we're trying to keep it no less than 30 or 3 so three or thirty, it's the same. When we know something's wrong with this and the pressure's down, when you're having a shower, you're running water. What tends to happen is your shower can be hot, and then suddenly it goes very cold, and that's that's the problem. That tells us then there's something wrong with the pressure. So we have to come out, have a look, and over here you can see we've already already done it. This is the compressor that we use. The connection that we use is. Very similar, in fact it's very same as what you'd use to pump up a bike or a car. As you can see, the same connection. And anybody who's anybody's got a bike or a hand pump for a car knows you push it in and that braces that and lets the air in. And then we watch the dial to come round. Like I say, we need it to be around about 3 or 30 on this. This is the pounds per square inch. This is the important one. But we also have another dial which you can see here this we try to keep round about again three or four bar so these two have to be roughly the same to keep the water pressure in the house equalized otherwise like we say it will be fluctuating with between hot and cold we can tell something's wrong as when when you're using the water and the pump kicks in it is not a steady noise it becomes and it's a sound like this the air it's got an airlock in it and that tells us then we have to come in and sometimes we have to drain it down a little bit to let to get the air out and then refill it with water and then get and then pressurize it again but now it's all done so hopefully for maybe four or five weeks depending on how much water we use this should be okay again but like i could say we'll know when it's going wrong how it sounds and the water pressure in the building if it starts to fluctuate thank you very much see you again